<laughs> She's a rocking granny. Woo! <laughs> Happy Monday. It's me, Maris, and I'm uh, here at the studio, and I hope you're having a magically delicious day. I'm having a magically delicious day. Well, kind of. Lost my keys. <sighs> They're somewhere. I don't know where they are. Either that or somebody got into my truck and took my keys. It wasn't my truck keys. It was like the office and studio keys. So I'm like, ding, dang, dally walk. Gosh. Anyway, so it's Monday afternoon, and that means that, hey, Angela, um, I'm a little bit, I'm a lot behind, but y'all still love me anyway. But it's time for a Monday energy forecast. I did, Angela. I'm like Archangel Chamuel. Help me find my keys. Archangel Chamuel, help me find my keys. Archangel Chamuel, help me find my keys. And I just concluded with this that I'll probably find the keys when I get back home. But I have another set of things. I got the master keys to make the new keys and blah, blah, blah. blah. But um, anyway, it, it, it's probably something along the lines of that. Um, um, I could have been in a really yucky car accident or, um, you know, I don't know. Anything could have happened that why my keys are missing. So I'm not going to trip out about it. Um, you know, 20 years ago, I would have been probably having a melodramatic breakdown. And I just find that it's just not worth it to have a breakdown over something like keys that you can replace. You know, don't give my energy. I don't like to give my... Okay, there's number one. We're using Sacred Destiny, by the way. Um, uh, but anyway, um, you know, don't give away your energy to something that really doesn't deserve your energy. I learned that from Hotep Jesus. You know, because every day he'll ask on Twitter, who have, your, who have you given your energy away to unnecessarily? You know, when you start thinking about that, and it's like, uh, yeah... Because um, a lot of times people really don't give a ding dong daily walk. And you get all, you know, we as a you know, person, we might get, okay, there's the other, oh, okay. Um, we might get all unwound or wound up or whatever, you know, tripping out about something. And we either made that person's day because we gave them all of that energy. Or they're over there like, whatever. And they walk on and they forgot all about us. And there we are still brewing in that minutia. Okay, let's see if there's another one that comes flying out uh, before we like um, uh, re look at the cards. I was sitting there thinking a card laid is a card played. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, I guess that means that if I'm doing a reading and I don't like it, okay, there goes the other two. If I don't like it, that doesn't mean that I can... Um, um, you know, trade them in for cards that may be better. I don't know. You know, if you ever thought about that, I don't like that card. Put it back, you know. And I'm over there, don't put it back because if you put it back, you'll probably get it back. So just put it to the side. It's going to be like playing 21, though. It's like, hit me. I need something else. Oh, I know. <laughs> nope, don't like that answer. Mm, tell spirit no mm, no it didn't work that way okay so let's turn the card because i'm over here like giggling um i like the energy that's coming through that's okay um let's move that back baby so that we can see that let's get it come into focus come into focus y'all thought i was magical all right so um we're now into focus and we've got the flow card what i like about the flow card is is that you can see that curvature so that's talking about being a little bit on the flexible side. Uh, but we also have that big, huge moon. And it's really bright and really illuminating. And it's illuminating this path that we're flowing on. So go with the flow. We've got a good, basic flow that's coming in. And we know that we're going to have some challenges and obstacles, and that's okay. But if you know that this flow is very, very gentle, which it looks very gentle, um, it's relaxing, it's illuminated, it's curving. So we're talking about flexibility, going with the flow. It almost makes me think of that little, that place down in New Braunfels, Texas, the, um, the, the, lazy river the lazy river flow. Yeah. 
um, float, you know, where, where you're on that little round thing or your, you know, your float mat or whatever, and you're just like floating down that river. That's the vibration I get in there. A lot of joy, a lot of peace, a lot of just plain old grooviness. And I'm like, we need some grooviness. It was a real volatile weekend. Whew. All right, so let's look up and what's our obstacle. And I'm giggling on this protection. And I'm like, how the heck is protection an obstacle? How the heck is protection an obstacle? Okay, this is how it's an obstacle. Sometimes we can have protection that doesn't allow us to experience life or experience things. Okay, so it's kind of like when your mother, um, like you're you're getting ready to go outside and it's kind of cloudy outside, but not really, you know, it's kind of cloudy and overcast and your mom makes you take your umbrella, your galoshes and your raincoat, you know, and to, to leave, you know, or um, that overprotective mother, it's like, God forbid she even tries your food to make sure it's not poisoned, you know, to that level. So we're looking at, when we're looking at um, protection as being an obstacle, it's more along the lines of not feel or not feeling, but not having the freedom or the liberty to um, kind of step outside of that box or experience something out of your normal routine. And usually I'm going to say on this, it's fear based. It is your own it is your own making here going, I don't know, I might get hurt in that. It sounds like something I would say, you know, they'd go, hey, let's go skydiving. And I'm like, oh, I would be the one whose little thing didn't open up when you pulled it. <laughs> Not going to do it. So that's what I mean on that is like, um, you know, it, it's being overprotective. It's being um, overguarded about experiencing life because we've got this flow of energy coming in it's illuminated it's pretty much telling you where to go for the good time and i mean like an honest good time not like a shady good time <laughs> let's just clarify okay and then what are we looking at we're looking at like well, i don't know i don't know maybe maybe i will maybe i won't is it good for me is it good for you is it something that we can do? It's something that's outside of your routine and that's your challenge because a lot of times we don't like to step outside of our comfort zone. Not one bit. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. This one's a little uncomfortable, okay? Because, uh, so this is what's our help. Okay, so if protection was my challenge um embracing is my help okay but the embracing is upside down so we're not really embracing we're kind of being disconnected and disengaged <laughs> and i'm like over here going okay y'all are jacking me up here spirit you're talking about me stepping outside my comfort zone but then when I'm stepping outside my comfort zone, I'm in a place that I'm going to feel really disconnected from, that it's not going to connect with me and I'm not going to connect with it. What the hell are you doing? You know, seriously. So this is a little bit about some experimentation. And don't be afraid to try a new thing or to go into a different path. Um, it may not be... Okay, I get it. it okay, it, it's not going to be embracing and, and you're going to be kind of standoffish with it. Um, doesn't mean it's a bad thing. And this is what came up through here in the mind's eye is that have you ever um, met somebody or met a situation that was so incredibly charismatic that you got so lost into it that you lost yourself? That's what this is talking about. This energy through here is saying, okay, you know, when I'm like, what the heck? Why is this a, um, my help? It's supposed, to, you know, you know, A, it should be flipped over the other way. 
and it should, you know, it should, 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 right? Um, this is saying, when I'm looking at it through here, is that, okay, so this flow is coming in and we're experiencing new, some new things. And it's like, don't fall in love at first sight. Do not fall in love at first sight. Take your time on it so that you really get to know what that situation or more importantly, what that person is bringing to the table. All right, you're gonna like this one because this is the momentum. Okay, so now that we're working through all of our um, all of our uh, obstacles and what's our helps and kind of setting up our strategy for success. What is the message now coming through? So that energy, where are we ending up going forward? We're actually going to achieve some good things. We've got some good experiences coming up this week that are going to open your eyes. But it says, don't fall in love. Don't fall in love with these things that um, look all glittery, glittery and all pretty and almost perfect and that too good to be true because there's always something kind of underlying that's through there. All right, but we're, we're going forward. We're still seeing, okay, we were in the water at the beginning, and so now we're kind of on land, but we're still seeing an illuminated path. We're still seeing that illuminated path. So in that, we're, still, we're gonna be right on track. That's the cool part. We are going to be right on track for where we need to be and then that final ooh, that final uh card is the pleasure card and so what's that end result okay the end result um is the pleasure card and um and you can see that it's upside down so it's not going to be about that warm fuzzy um, I feel good all over, you know what I mean, kind of pleasure. Uh, it is going to be more about um, the experience and the knowledge gained kind of pleasure. Um, look at um, some self-confidence, some self-awareness, um, some self-awakening through this. Um, oh, that's so funny. Okay, all right, so the way it was just like, um, think about somebody like Private Benjamin. And Private Benjamin goes to boot camp. And then the first couple of weeks of boot camp, it's horrific. There's not a place for my curling iron. Um, um, I can't wear makeup. They want me to put my hair up and do what? You know, you know, um, I got to get rid of, rid of my Michael Kors glasses. Does he even have glasses? I don't know. Um, but, you know, I, I would have to get rid of everything that kind of defines who I am and then hit that sense of rock bottom and come up. And can you imagine how proud and the self-esteem that you would have at the end of that boot camp being successful? And realizing that those little things like your makeup and your hot curlers and your curling iron, like some of those things that I like really love, I will not deny. My colognes, my perfumes, my oils, all those things really don't have any meaning when it comes to who we are from the inside out and showing what the strengths that we bring to the table. So that's what this is really referring to. It's, you know, kind of getting down to the simplicity and the basics. Uh, and I'm going to say it like this, the raw nakedness, the raw nakedness of who you are and where you're going and what you're bringing to light. So I hope you enjoyed today's reading and have a most magical Monday. I've got some really cool things up my sleeve, so you'll be catching me online so my night owls you know those of you that stay up all night long you'll start seeing me staying up all night long peace love and harmony i will see you very soon